Hey, what's good everybody? I hope y'all are having a great day. Today, I just wanna make a short update video on my 98 Corolla. There's a couple things that I've changed up or added or whatever since the last video that I covered on this car, which was the review. Um, when I was just driving it around talking about it with Brian. Um, original plan was to record on my Note 5, but it's actually plugged in right now to the car charger because it was dead so hopefully I have two gigs available on my iPhone so hopefully that'll give me enough to record everything that I wanted to record so um, small things first I have a pair of tires um, coming in Friday I believe if all goes well um excuse the finger over here on the right side i was just holding it weird so i got the two tires coming in they get here friday i'll be putting them on saturday morning uh, more than likely hopefully because i need not, i need tires my front tires are horrible i'll show you guys in a minute um another thing actually no i think that's about it I gotta do my oil change. Um, I should do it already, but due to the fact that I'll be going on vacation, the car's not gonna be moving, so I don't wanna put new oil in the car and then just let it sit for, for a week or two. So I'm just gonna keep running this oil. I mean, my car burns oil anyways. It's got a Toyota OEM filter on it, and it's um, running Mobile One high mileage full synthetic. So I should be straight. It burns through the oil anyways, and I gotta add a quart like every two weeks. So I should be straight. I don't like to push back oil changes too far, but due to the circumstances, I will just for this occasion. Um, and then when I do, the oil change I will be doing my spark plugs as well um, I did them last time I did my oil change about 4,000 miles actually oh, yeah about 4,000 miles ago but the NGKs that I put in there like they're good and the car runs fine but I have a friend of mine in Panama that has the same car same engine everything and he says that the car runs better with Denso spark plugs he gave me the exact part number and everything. Um, he says that he gets a little more power, a little more gas mileage and everything with those Denso spark plugs. So I'm going to order those online a couple days before I come back from vacation just so they arrive around the same time I get back. And I'll go pick up my oil change. Actually, I'll probably do it that weekend. I'll order them, get them shipped in. Excuse me, go pick up my filter from Toyota, get my oil from one of the auto parts stores or Walmart, wherever they have it cheaper. And we'll go from there. But that's that's it for as far as upgrades really for right now. Um, I could check my list. Uh, just give me a second. Okay, so looking at my list here, yeah, tires, the oil change, and the spark plugs. I do want to get one of those like universal heat shields for the for the intake, just because it's all in the engine bay. It's a short ram intake, so it's probably sucking in a lot of heat. So a little heat shield might help a little bit. I don't know. I'll give it a shot. Whatever. Um, I might need a new filter for it soon because the filter on it right now is pretty dirty. So maybe within the next month or two, I'll be getting a new filter. I do want to get a hood bra. I do want to get um, the corner lights on these cars. It's red and then the turn signal is like an orange oval. So they sell these tails online that the turn signal oval shape thing is clear. I have the amber LED in there already, so I want to get the clear one just 
I personally think it gives it a cleaner look. Some people like it, some people don't. I love it, but I haven't done it to my car yet. So that's on my list. Besides that, I don't have much planned for this year. Um, kind of just keep it clean, keep it up to date, you know, and save some money because Christmas, it, it's already almost June. Christmas is around the corner. Um, I still got to pay off my plane ticket, blah, blah, blah. So that's that. Um, I'm going to cut the video on here on my note. Let it charge. I'm going to go out and record with this now. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So first things first, I'm pretty sure you guys remember the video that I uploaded on the the shifter base and shifter cable bushings. Um, so you can't really see them. The shifter base bushings are down here. It's one here, one here, and the other two down here. What it does is it just makes the feel of the shifting a lot stiffer. So it does cause a little bit more noise, but it does feel a lot stiffer. So, I mean, there's very little play. And the the play part is from the shifter cable bushings under the hood, which it's hot outside. I, I mean, I guess I could show you guys real quick. Um, so that's that in here, the shifter base bushings down here. I do have this blocks weighted shift knob. It's the teardrop style. Um, I like it. It definitely adds to the feel of the shifting along with the shifter um, base and cable bushings so I I definitely recommend it it's it's pretty nice um there's not so much left in here I got my pioneer head unit which actually I did get not too long ago as well um, it's Bluetooth uh, it has USB it's got all sorts of things um, 13 band uh, equalizer all sorts of stuff it's it actually works fine with my um, speakers, Memphis car audio in the inside the car, and then I got two 10-inch subs. I believe they're audio bond. I'm not exactly sure. On a Rockford Fosgate, a uh, thousand watt amp it sounds beautiful. I'd show you guys, but you know I don't want to get copyrighted or anything. So let's let's get outside real quick. Um, outside I've got three things I've got uh, my exhaust I finally finished it it's two and a quarter inch piping all the way back no resonator to the vibrant muffler the DC Sports uh, Stealth Series 3 inch that I have from previous videos um, oh my voice cracked <clears throat> a little bit um, so it does sound it still idles quiet but it does sound it does sound a little louder once you start going up in revs and if you get on it forget it it's loud but it's a nice type of loud it does get a little raspy up at the top end I've been told but it's not it's not horrifying so I'll show you guys a clip of that later um, let me show you guys the shifter cable bushings real quick So the shifter cable bushings are right there. There's one there and then the other one is sideways right there. So basically So basically with that you just take off the old ones, put in the new ones. The old ones were a pain in the butt for me, but they should come out fine it's mainly because my car came from up north everything was just rusty so those tails that I was telling you guys about in the, the last clip it's exactly like this except this is clear so it'd be clear like this I have the amber turn signals already so I feel like it it make the car look a lot cleaner now down here 
that's the muffler and then if you get under the car you'll be able to see all the redone piping all the way back to the headers um another thing i'm pretty sure you guys saw it in, in a couple um scenes in my last couple videos but it's these retrofitted projector headlights um i got these off of a guy on the corolla page um i love the way they look he included the wiring harness hids ballast everything great guy to deal with I definitely deal with them again. I got these LEDs too. I finally found them. They work perfectly fine. They don't blow any fuses. So, and then that's how the projectors work. They definitely look just. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, got a call coming in. I don't know where the video cut off, but this is what the projectors look like. It's 5500K HIDs. I think they look awesome. They're not too blue. They're not too yellow. The, the perfect balance. They look pretty much white at night. The cutoff is amazing. Um, now, one last thing before I end the video is clip That's it for now guys um just a little update on the car um i'm pretty sure the video does not do the exhaust justice so that's it for now guys um i do have another video coming soon unfortunately Unfortunately, Cito's car, the Corolla that I was recorded um, with, got a blown head gasket. It was it was a long night Saturday night, let's put it that way. Blew the head gasket, and he sold his rims. He's getting rid of the car, but he does have a new car. He just got it. Um, it's a surprise. He won't even tell me what it is, and we're like super close friends, so. He's going to be coming by either tonight or tomorrow or whatever. The next video will be that car. Will be when he comes by and shows it to me. Hopefully it's during the daytime. But if it's at nighttime, it'll just be a really quick video. Just showing you guys what it is. Probably take it for a little drive real quick. It'll be dark, but I'll try to get it just so you guys are up to date on what car he gets next. And... And then we could basically, you know, start going from there. New project, hopefully. So, you know, rest in peace, Corolla. Had a lot of good times, you know, the videos and everything. Um, but on to new things. Um, we'll see what he got. So, my Corolla's running strong, thank God. It's got new tires coming soon, like I said. Cito's Corolla, unfortunately, like I said, blown head gasket. Um, what happened was the the fan fuse or something blew. He didn't notice. The fans weren't working. We were on the highway. And he, he was just like, yo, my temperature spiked. I need to pull over, blah, 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 whatever. We pulled over. The car had stopped responding to him completely. No throttle, brakes, nothing. So we pulled over to the side. Me and my boy Pete. Um, and then we helped him. We we did all sorts of things to try to figure out what was wrong with it. Um, when we finally pulled out one of the spark plugs to see if it was getting spark, I went to crank it 
and all you see is water just spit out from water and coolant whatever it just spat out from the the spark plug um socket so that's when we knew it was just a blown head gasket so it it's probably worth more than the car itself to replace the head gasket um so that's why he decided to just part out the car he sold the wheels already we still have the suspension the um the ebay coilovers great condition if you guys want them let me know um hopefully we'll still have them but if not i'm pretty sure he'll be selling the car as a whole um to like a junkyard or something or someone that's probably going to swap out the motor i don't know but anyways guys that'll be it for this video stay tuned next video will be in the next couple days maybe even tomorrow depending on when he comes over and and shows me the new car I, like I said I don't even know what it is he did show me a picture on snapchat all it said was four door 2.3 liter four cylinder so automatically 2.3 liter I associate it with the Mazda uh, with the Mazda 3 um, it said four door so I'm assuming it's the sedan not the hatch so that's that's what I have in mind it's automatic so it's not the Mazda Speed 3 it's just the Mazda 3 um, so that's what I think it is um, me and a couple of my friends all think it's the Mazda 3 but we'll see um, leave in the comments down below what you guys think Cito's new car is um, if you made it to the end of the video comment RIP Corolla and or RIP Cito's Corolla and then under that leave what car do you think Cito got that is a 2.3 liter four-cylinder sedan anyways guys thanks for watching see you in the next video